Is it worth it to try and become an environmental engineer in 2021? That is the question that this video is going to try and help you answer. We're going to go over salaries, the job market, educational requirements, Myers-Briggs personality types, and more. Ultimately, environmental engineering is definitely for some people, but there's also plenty of reasons why you shouldn't consider becoming an environmental engineer, and we're going to go over this later in the video. But first, what are the roles and responsibilities of people in this occupation? Environmental engineers are concerned with creating engineering solutions to environmental problems. They have a deep understanding of environmental concerns, and they're constantly trying to come up with effective solutions to address those concerns. Their work includes trying to improve recycling in societies, waste disposal, public health, and they're concerned with water and air pollution control. Environmental engineers also address global issues such as unsafe drinking water, climate change, and environmental sustainability. A large percentage of environmental engineers support the public sector either on the state, local, or federal level. So if you do not want to work with the government, you might rethink this occupation. To work as an environmental engineer, you must have at least a bachelor's degree in either environmental engineering or related engineering fields, such as civil or chemical engineering. But unlike other engineering fields, a large percentage of environmental engineers have education beyond just a bachelor's degree. The Occupational Information Network did a survey and they found that about 64% of environmental engineers just have a bachelor's degree, whereas 9% have a post-bachelor's degree with a certificate and 27% of employed environmental engineers have a master's degree. 27% is pretty high compared to some of the other engineering fields. Civil engineering has a much lower percentage of people that have a master's degree. We can also look at the Myers-Briggs personality type most likely to become an environmental engineer. According to the Myers-Briggs company, it was the ENTJ, also known as the commander, followed by the INTJ, the architect, ISTJ, the inspector, and ENTP, the debater. This isn't surprising at all. If you look at all the other engineering fields, pretty much they all have a thinking over feeling preference. It makes a lot of sense. So what kind of salaries can environmental engineers expect in 2021? According to the Economic Research Institute, there are certain countries that pay, tend to pay environmental engineers more than others. In France, the average base salary for an environmental engineer was around $63,000 per year. In the United Kingdom, around $68,000. In Canada, around 72,000. In Germany, around 78,000. In Australia, about 82,000. And finally, in the United States, they found that the average base salary for an environmental engineer was around $97,000 per year. All of these countries have different currencies. I converted all of them to the US dollar. As for environmental engineers that are based in the United States, the United States government through the Department of Labor found that environmental engineering isn't the most lucrative type of engineering that goes to fields such as petroleum engineering, nuclear engineering, and computer hardware engineering. Using 2020 data, the average base salary for an environmental engineer last year was $96,890. The United States surveys the base salaries of engineering fields pretty much every single year, and environmental engineering is usually near the bottom of the list. But wages for environmental engineers have grown over time. In the year 2000, the average base salary for an environmental engineer was $59,710. This grew to $96,890 in 2020. This gives us an average yearly wage growth for environmental engineers of $1,770 per year. So unfortunately for environmental engineers, not only do they tend to earn less than similar engineering fields, but their wages aren't growing as quickly as say civil, mechanical, and industrial engineering. If you were to take this average yearly wage growth, by 2024, the average base salary for an environmental engineer was around $103,000 per year, and this grew, would grow to $100,000 around 14,000 per year by the year 2030. Another thing that determines the base salaries of environmental engineers is geography within the United States. Certain states tend to pay environmental engineers more than others. And some of these states at the top of the list are pretty surprising. It was actually found that the state of Idaho on average pays environmental engineers the greatest wage with an average base salary of a little over 110,000 per year for environmental engineers. Other high paying states include the state of California, Washington, Texas, and Minnesota. So that covers the salaries of environmental engineers. Next up, we're gonna get into the job market. Is it challenging to find work in this particular occupation? 
Is the number of jobs growing or is the number of jobs shrinking? The first thing to understand is the environmental engineering workforce is much smaller than similar engineering fields. In the year 2020, the US government recorded 50,260 employed environmental engineers in 2020. This is a fraction of the number of employed compared to fields such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and industrial engineering. The big three engineering fields have almost 300,000 employed. Working in an occupation that has a very giant workforce means that you can work in many different states across the United States. We can also look at the trend of employed environmental engineers over the past 20 years. In the year 2000, the U.S. government through the Department of Labor recorded 48,270 employed environmental engineers. This peaked around 2012-2013 at around 53,000 employed, but since then, the number of employed has fallen. In 2020, the government recorded 50,260 employed, which is really just about 2,000 more employed than in the year 2000, 20 years ago. So there aren't that many more employed environmental engineers in 2020 than there were in the year 2000. And the US government doesn't have a big forecast for environmental engineers. They're anticipating about a 3% growth in jobs over the next 10 years, which means by 2030, there'd be around 52,000 employed. I definitely don't like to just look at the government forecast for different occupations. I also really like to look at the number of job postings and then compare them to the number of employed. I typically use three different platforms, Glassdoor, Indeed, and LinkedIn. On Glassdoor.com, when searching for environmental engineer in the United States, there was almost 17,000 job opportunities related to that keyword. Meanwhile, on Indeed.com, there was a little over 5,000 job postings. And on LinkedIn, there was a little over 14,000 job postings when searching for environmental engineer. So as you can see, there are definitely job opportunities out there for environmental engineering. It isn't as drastic as the US government seems to make it. Environmental engineering isn't quite as in demand as say materials engineering, which I did a 10 most in demand engineering video. Definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing which engineering fields have the most demand right now. But environmental engineering does have pretty solid demand right now. And finally, we get into one last warning about going into this occupation. And that warning is geography related. Environmental engineering is an extremely regional occupation. There are certain states that have a lot more employed environmental engineers than others. If you look at this particular map, which includes jobs by state, as you can see, California has overwhelmingly the greatest number of employed environmental engineers, followed by states like New York, Texas, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts. If you want to land a job as an environmental engineer, you might need to live in a very specific place. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming an environmental engineer in 2021. If you enjoyed this video, definitely also check out my civil engineering video. A lot of environmental engineers have the potential to become civil engineers and civil engineers also can sometimes become environmental engineers. Definitely check out that video and I will see you next time.